What's up everybody, your boy Pat, back again with another edition of Second Take, where I talk tech and I speak sports. Today's topic of the day is Michael Jordan and the top five reasons why he is the GOAT. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell as it helps out the channel. Now, the top five reasons why Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Reason number one, Michael Jordan is the greatest scorer of all time in NBA history. Now, when I say greatest scorer of all time, I'm not saying he had the most points. Let's be honest with ourselves. The guys who are ahead of him, Kareem, Karl Malone, Kobe Bryant, soon to be LeBron James, all of these guys played 20 plus years in the National Basketball Association. Michael Jordan only played 15. He retired twice during his prime. So let's not get into that argument as far as most points. We all know that if Michael Jordan played as many years as, as he wanted to, he would have had the most points ever in a career. So I'm going to shoot some stats off here. Hopefully you guys can follow along. 30.1 points per game in his career. That is the highest average for any NBA player in NBA history. Eight seasons of 30 or more points per game. He has the most 50 point games ever. He has the most 40 point games ever. He had 1,041 straight games of 10 points or more. That includes the playoffs. He's a 10 time scoring champ. And he had seven consecutive scoring titles. Those are just regular season stats. We'll get to the playoffs in a moment. Reason number two why Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. He dominated his era. Now when I say dominated his era, I'm going to talk about the 91 to 98 seasons because of the fact that that's when people remember Michael Jordan that's when he was his most successful and that was the era that most people associate Michael Jordan with now let's talk about those eight years he had four MVPs during that time he was a six-time champion a six times final MVP he was a six-time member of the all NBA first team and he was a six-time member of the all defensive first team the Bulls during that time had 60 wins six different times, had 69 wins two different times, and he never lost three games in a row during an eight year stretch. In fact, during his six championship runs, he missed a total of six games. And during those playoff runs, the Bulls beat 10 teams who had 50 wins or more and they beat seven teams who had 60 wins or more and while we're talking about beating teams let's throw in the fact this is the little bonus for you michael jordan is undefeated in all forms of title and or championship games in his life he is 6-0 in nba championship games 2-0 in the olympics and 1-0 in the ncaa championship game he has never lost a game with the title on the line now as promised number three is playoff michael jordan he is the best playoff performer ever in nba history he has a 33.4 points per game average better than his 30.1 during the regular season so he elevates his game in the playoffs 12 different runs of 30 points or more in playoffs. Yes, 12 different years Michael Jordan scored 30 or more in a playoff run. In fact, the only time he averaged less than 30 points per game was when he averaged 29 points per game in his rookie season in a first round loss. He has also only been outscored by an opposing player or a teammate once. And that was also his rookie season when he scored those 29 points in the playoff round. When you move on to the NBA Finals round, Michael Jordan has a 33.6 points per game. Even better than the playoffs and even better than his regular season numbers. So he liked to kick it up 
a few notches as the intensity of the rounds increased. He's also averaged over 40 points per game in five different playoff series and has a finals record of 41 points per game in an NBA Finals in 1993 versus the Phoenix Sun. He also holds the most points ever scored in a single game when he scored 63 in the playoffs versus the Boston Celtics. But if you're still not sold, let's go on to number four. Michael Jordan actually has the highest peak of any NBA player in history. Those years are from 1987 until 1993. He had a seven year stretch in which he was a seven time member of the all NBA first team. He was a six time member of the all defensive team first team. He was a defensive player of the year in 87 88 as well as the MVP in 87 88. And he was a seven time scoring champ and a three time league MVP. During that stretch, he averaged 34.6 points per game in the playoffs, 6.6 .6 assists, 6.7 rebounds, 2.3 steals, and one block. He shot 50, 36, 84, 50% from the field, 36% from three, and 84% from the line during that stretch. And coming in at number five, Michael Jordan is the most influential NBA player and perhaps the most influential sports figure in history. He was the first guard to actually dominate in a big man league. When you had guys like Patrick Ewan, Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, Alonzo Mourning, the list goes on and on and on. And during these guys' times, Michael Jordan was the guy that they had to go through. He was the first two guard to essentially beat the big man at their own game. He changed the game. He dominated as a shooting guard and he influenced on many different levels. Whether it was the Gatorade song, Want to Be Like Mike, whether it was the Spike Lee commercials with the Michael Jordans, the Jordan sneaker, or speaking of his sneakers, his sneakers, yes, his sneakers. Michael Jordan continues to dominate the shoe game even though the man has not played an NBA game in over 18 years. He outsells the likes of LeBron James, the likes of Kevin Durant, the likes of Stephen Curry. Combined, these three don't sell as many sneakers as he does combined. This man essentially influenced an entire generation and lifted the NBA to new heights and lifted the NBA to new heights. During his time, the NBA Finals were getting record turnout as far as Nielsen ratings and people watching. So there you have it, the top five reasons, in my opinion, obviously, but I think most people would agree as I have spit enough facts on this topic. But the top five reasons why Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Shout out to everybody rocking me on Instagram, YouTube, the Anchor app. You can also find me on Spotify as well as Apple and Google Podcasts. It's your boy Pat. Peace. Catch you on the next one.